friends, it's a beautiful day here. San Juan Bautista. Jaw woke me up at 6 a.m. hopping around the bed because he could hear the other dogs outside playing and he was freaking out because he didn't get a play too. So that's the kind of day we're in for. We're gonna eat some breakfast, hop in the car, drive to Carmel and hang out in Carmel today. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. And good morning to you too. How are you today? We're doing a special sunglass vlog today for Missy Jameson. Do you guys know that? Yep. I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try and go to the Cypress Inn, a hotel that Doris Day owns. We're gonna check out the beach. What do you guys think? Tail wagging is always good. Well, I think this was the perfect place to bring Ja. Last night he played all the way up until the dark had a blast running around with all the dogs. So today we're gonna take him into Carmel, like I said, and we're gonna show him around. We're gonna let him play on the beach because it's a dog friendly beach there. I wanna see if I can take him to a place up there called Point Lobos, which I was looking at online. It just looks amazing. And then we'll come back here. He'll get a play all over the grounds here, run amok, go crazy, and hang out with his buddies. I think this was the perfect place to bring him for his birthday. I, I've never really seen him this happy, so that makes me happy. You woke me up pretty early today. You had fun, didn't you? You've been out here for about two hours playing with the other dogs. Oh yeah. So Missy Jameson, I hope you're cool with having orange sunglasses because these are gonna be yours after today's vlog. And look who else is staying here on the property. Oh no, it's Mr. Bell! All right, breakfast is served. Look at that. That looks so good. Look at that. I'm gonna put my coffee in there. She's just gonna give me a fresh bowl of strawberries. Well, that's crazy. I was just talking to the lady who lives in the house here, and not only was she telling me that her, her husband was a big musician in the 70s, but she was telling me, she said, when I told her, you know, the kind of videos we make, she said, that going where we're going today is actually where John Denver's plane crashed. I didn't realize we were that close, so we might go check that out. And she gave me an idea for something to vlog tomorrow. She said, we're only a few minutes away. So once she mentioned what it was, I said, done. I'm doing it tomorrow. So you guys have a big vlog to look forward to tomorrow now. I do love this house, man. Wow. So cool. You know what I mean? All right, we're headed to Pacific Grove. That's the uh, Pacific Grove Museum. So I just stopped here because I saw this statue and it's in honor of grandfathers. And I just thought that was such a cool little thing. They have this little statue of the bird here and sit down with somebody's grandpa. So check out the awesome Victorian houses here. I've passed by a lot of them. This is just an amazing one, isn't it? Well, here we are. 1997, just off the coast, right here, of Pacific Grove. John Denver was flying his experimental plane, doing some touch and go landings off the Monterey Strip here. Like I said, it was an experimental plane, and apparently the switch to change over engines was located behind the pilot seat. So, there's a golf course right over here, and the people on the golf course said they could hear a loud popping sound in the air, looked up and saw an airplane having trouble and start going down into this water. Apparently, the switchover being behind John's seat was too difficult to reach, and he lost control of the plane while trying to switch engines. He crashed into this and was so badly disfigured when five rescuers went out and pulled the plane wreckage in and they examined the body, his head and everything was so disfigured they couldn't even identify him by dental records. They had to use his fingerprints from previous arrests. And now every year on the anniversary of John's death, people come out and they memorialize and leave photos and celebrate John's life. Somebody who I loved, I mean, I, my, I think I, when I really, really found an attachment to John Denver was when I saw the Wildlife concert. 
you just see him play those songs you do you see Annie song you see him do sorry and you just I mean you just break into tears it's so beautiful incidentally in that concert he had James Burton playing his guitar and James Burton was also on Graham Parsons last recordings and he also played guitar for Elvis in Vegas so right out here they do a memorial for him every year fans leave pictures and now they've memorialized him in a plaque right here Henry John Duchendorf the great John Denver this was donated by the Duchendorf family and here you can see right here on this piece of wood somebody's carved his name the great John Denver I'll tell you when I when I heard about John's death it didn't really affect me much because I hadn't gotten into his music and then VH1 started playing the behind the music and I saw that wildlife concert and my life changed no shame in being a Denver fan man no shame at all guy was a beautiful songwriter a beautiful singer and died way too young rest in peace John Denver wherever your soul may be we're gonna let Joss see some of the beach before we take off and there you go Missy your sunglasses were right there on John's tomb, well, his memorial. All right, buddy, that one was one for me. Now let's go to Carmel and have some fun for you. There's the golf course where the golfer said they could hear the popping and see the plane go down. Dang experimental planes. He was a good pilot. He was, he was not a novice. He had been doing it a long time. I'm not pretending. Oh, cool. Look at this beautiful place. Oh, doesn't that look great? Cool. Look at the architecture here. Isn't this great? I love this old style. So apparently Einstein's a big Carmel fan. <laughs> Check out some of these. Oh, that's awesome. They turned those bottles into the, uh, the light bulb fixtures. I love that. Oh, wow. Look at the outside of this building. Isn't that interesting? That mural? California del Norte via El Camino Real. So it's the history of the Camino Real. El Camino Real. That's interesting. I love that. Looks great. This is a memorial bell for the men who served in World War I from the Carmel area. Isn't that cool? A pretty cool bag. No way. A Christmas store? Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, never have enough Christmas. Oh yeah, more of that great architecture. We're actually on our way looking for the, uh, the Cypress Inn right now. The, uh, the hotel that Doris Day co-owns. Check out all the architecture in this structure, I love this. And this is just on your way back to like the coffee house. <laughs> the dog friendly coffee house oh I love that look at that there's another one on the other side let's go take a look at that one isn't that great look at that I love that kind of stuff oh this is their library oh that is a great looking library oh look at this little statue here of this couple on the bench isn't that cute? Nice. That's very nice. And here on the bench you can see the artist has signed it. And he's also put it like in Japanese. I wonder what the story is behind that. But then it says it's 2 of 21. So there's probably another, you know, 20 of these around the world or country somewhere. 
You see this tree? I just saw this on the ground. Trees donated by the Friends of Carmel Forest Burr Lives Concert Fund. Remember Burr Lives? Check out this area. These old cottage type buildings. I love this. This is actually a candy shop. I just, I love these kind of houses. I love that. Oh, that is awesome. They have a music box company here. Take a look. It's so great. This is the display window for the pipe shop here. Look at that. Former mayor, Clint Eastwood. I love that about this place, that Clint Eastwood used to be the mayor. How great is that? There's the sign for the pipe shop. Isn't that great? Classic old school. Wow, look at this beautiful church. Man, look at this one. Look at the layout of this church. That is incredible. Well, there it is. There's our destination, the Cypress Inn. I was told to go in and have coffee there. This is the one that Doris Day co-owns and they're beyond dog friendly here. This is a pretty good treat for me, you know, to know that Doris Day likes this place enough to invest in it. You ready? This is pet friendly, so let's roll. Oh, look at that. It's a signed poster of Send Me No Flowers. And then they have a little display case. Picture with her and Clint Eastwood and it's signed. Oh, that's great. You can even buy Doris Day Foundation shirts and coffee mugs and all that stuff. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh, that is awesome. I'm so glad that they have all this stuff of her in here. There's her on a coffee mug. Well, actually, the whole place is pretty much decked out in Doris Day stuff. If you look around here, all the posters and everything, the whole place is Doris Day. Those are pillow talk. Oh, one of my favorites. I just wrote her a, uh, a fan letter and sent my DVD copy of this, so. I just came outside because I could see this through the window and I said, I gotta come take a look at that. Looks like the lounge right now isn't open, so we'll go do a little bit more exploring. Maybe we'll come back. And this is kind of the lounging room. Isn't that great? Very classy. I love the fact that they have so much Doris Day stuff in here, even though she's like, you know, part owner. They've really dedicated a lot of it to her. They have a little donation section here. But I decided I'm gonna donate by buying one of these coffee mugs. Well, like I said, they're not open for lunch yet, so we're gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna let Ja play on the beach, and then we'll probably come back here. We're gonna go do a few other things. They love the fact that I was a vlogger and that I was in there vlogging the place, so that was pretty cool. And it dawned on me when I looked at the name of the restaurant, it's Terry's. After Terry Melcher, Doris' son. Pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to the beach. Then I think we'll come back, have some lunch, and we're gonna end the vlog. We're probably gonna do two of them today. Look who's on the cover. That's great. And I did ask when the last time somebody had seen Dora stay inside the Cypress Inn was. And they said, well, you know, she just celebrated her 96th birthday. And the last time she was here was on her 90th birthday. Wow, look at the Normandy Inn. Tudor. Wow, this is a pretty interesting place. I would have loved to have stayed here. The Lamplighter Inn. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at all those crazy like, big birdhouses and stuff in there. Oh, that says Hansel and Gretel Cottage, so that's what that is. That's a little Hansel and Gretel house over there. Now check this out. This part of one of the rooms comes with a little uh, little doggy place with a lighthouse on top, a little doggy door. It says it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> nice house, huh? Now we actually bypassed this famous 17 mile drive when we came down here. But someday I'm gonna vlog that. There's a lot of movies that have been filmed on the 17 mile drive. She's out here painting, isn't that great? 
All right, we're gonna take this trail. I think this will lead us to the beach. Oh, there's a lot of people out here painting. That's great. I had no idea. And there's another one painting over here. Some volleyball players. All right, we made it. Nice. Let's go take a look. Come on, beach bum. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, I went ahead and Huck Finn Tom Sawyered my pants. Now let's go into the water. Or at least go over to the water. Look at them strutting on the beach. Here comes the water! <laughs> I think that one blast of water came a little too close. He loved being chased though by it. Just kind of worried me a little bit. He loves it. Trotting along the beach. Here, I was going to say the water was coming. He didn't even notice it. All right, let's go get some lunch over at the Cypress. That is so cool, that Civil War era picture of Doris Day and she signed it. Well, this is where we're gonna sit, right here. I actually didn't notice this when we were here earlier. California Senate resolution, Doris Day. I ordered him a chicken breast. It's kind of cool that um, they play Doris Day's music while you're eating and they let the dogs, they treat the dogs like people customers. So he's just sitting here on a chair waiting for his chicken breast. It just got delivered and it's so hot he can't have it for a second. He's freaking out. Look at that. Jaws food. Here's your big birthday meal, buddy. Your, t your $10 chicken. Hey, Jaw, is it good? Is it good? You destroyed the bowl of chicken, which I'm proud of, and they just brought my food. I got a, um, a turkey club panini and Caesar salad. There you go, Missy. Your sunglasses are at the Cypress Inn. <laughs> He's ready to go. All right, that was an amazing lunch. We're gonna call it a day here in Carmel. I wanted to thank Barbara Town for becoming my newest Patreon. Come back and see us tomorrow and you'll see how the rest of this day shook out. I have a lot more going on today for Ja than you can expect, including a filming location. Have a great night, everyone. Goodbye.